who pay for your friends. I'll huh? take that as a compliment. Got a house full of homies. Why I feel so the opposite. Incompetent ain't that half of a shot of it. Happy, Happy New Year, year everyone. everyone. I'm Jake Morris coming to you live from the NCTV studio. Today is Friday, January 9th and a day D. I hope everyone had a great holiday break and, and a happy new year. Like always, alongside me is the second best anchor in the FCAC, Chloe DeMauro. Wait, is that Chloe? Kate? Nope. I know you've been quite the ladies' man in the studio the last few weeks, Jake, but I'm Kyle Lavaster, giving you the news for the first time at the Anchors Desk. I'm excited to start my first broadcast and the first one of 2015. So let's get to it. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America. Of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. With the attack of study guides and whiteboard countdowns, most of you are hopefully aware of midterms next week. If you're not, I would say you're out of luck, but don't worry, Matthew DiMattia will fill you in on all the details. Hello, NCHS. I'm Matthew DiMattia, and while it may be hard to believe, I do actually leave the sports desk every once in a while. So where am I? Well, I'm here at a local pharmacy to pick up anything and everything that I may need for the upcoming midterm exams. Midterms will begin on Tuesday, so be sure to stop by here and pick up all the pencils and erasers you may need, and hey, maybe even a sports drink or two. On Monday, January 12th, we'll have a special schedule so that all classes will meet, and midterms exam will take place the following day. On Tuesday, periods 1 and 2 exams will take place. On Wednesday, periods 3 and 4 will have their exams. Periods 5 and 6 will be on Thursday, and periods 7 and 8 will conclude the week on Friday. The first exam of each day will take place from 7.45 to 9.15, and the se second exam will take place from 10 to 11.30. Seniors, this will be your last midterm exam at NCHS, so be sure to join the rest of the school and log those hours studying. Good luck, NCHS, and for NCTV, this has been Matthew DiMattia. Thanks, Matt. Need something to look forward to after midterms? I know I do. The Monday after exams, January 19th, is Martin Luther King Day, so there will be no school for the district. That long weekend will allow you to catch up on some much-needed lost lo sleep from midterm week. Oh, I know I need sleep, Kyle. I'm sorry to ruin the fun, but that Tuesday, January 20th, is the beginning of second semester, and it'll be a day A. I don't know about you, but I could not be happier that the year is halfway over. Second semester already? I can't sure. believe it. The math puns have been made, and the ballots have been counted. The math music video contest has a winner. This year's first place winner is... Show Me Your Parabolas by Daniel Kushner, Miles Turpin, Trey Omler, and David Strupp. Let's take a look. Squared plus bx plus c. Degree of this is two, but the term count is three. We just spawned a hamster named it Marie. Be careful now, but don't drown in the sea. Coming in second place is math put in bold, and third is math club going up. If you placed, please speak to your math teacher to see what you've won. Congrats, guys. If you didn't win this year, make sure you try again next year. For the seniors who are going to do the senior internship, this announcement is for you. You're one of the 89, yes, 89 interns that signed up. You must go to the College and Career Center, ASAP, to schedule your interview. It will be a 15-minute discussion about how you want to spend the last few weeks of school. Even though I'm upset midterms are coming up next week, Jake, I'm yeah. excited to officially be a second semester senior. Me too, Kyle. Me too. While you may be studying a lot less and taking a break over the next two quarters, our Rams are still hard at work. Let's go to our man of the Ram plan, Gunner Magnus, and see how we're doing. Gunner? Thanks, Jake. Thank God it's Friday, NCHS. I'm back at the sports desk after what feels like an eternity, but just like gravy on a biscuit, it's all good. For those longtime Sports Center fans, as you know, Stuart Scott lost his bowel with cancer on Sunday. Stuart, who was 49, was an inspiration for many, including myself, and changed the game of sports broadcasting forever. So today I pay tribute to him by doing this swagged out sports report, Stuart style. So enough stalling, strap on your boots, and let's get into it. Recently, the basketball team has been stomping the court and the whole school can hear it. The B-Ballers have been shipping units of Haterade all over the state as they demolish the Cowboy Classic Tournament over break. Handing out losses like your monthly issue of the Courant, they dominated Litchfield to start, then went lights out on Cromwell in the championship game. The boys are getting their freak on against Norwalk tonight. NCTV will be there along with the Bomb Squad, so you better bring a rain jacket because the Splash Zone, starring Paul and Claude, is underway. Girls B-Ball had the La Vista tournament over break, and I'm not saying anything on the matter, but they had a solid performance over break, winning three of four games, falling only to Staples 36-29. Thankfully, they pulled themselves up and got to stick it to rival Darianne 35-26, thanks to a solid defensive effort. They play Norwalk tonight at 7. 
With the current cold snap, you can expect to be ice to be forming just about anywhere. How about some fine fuck, eh? Boys hockey is just about the only thing that's hot right now in this time of year where a man can't even wait at the bus stop without getting frozen. But maybe I should just let it go. Thawing out from a third period loss to Darien, 6-3 on Saturday. Monday, the boys on skates put the Mustangs of Fairfield down like a horse with a broken leg. And we've got some highlights fresh out the oven, so let's dig in. The air is cold and the ice is hard. The boys are circling like a pack of wolves hungry for a win. Tonight's meal, Mustang on a stick. Early in the first period, a Stang puts the hurtin' on a ram, and this little colt pulls away from the board, slips on a banana peel, and put, somehow puts one in for Fairfield early. Enjoy that celly, guys. There's a storm coming, and the Rams will put up four unanswered. Rams up now 4-1. We've got a little puck movement between two Rams, and Max Bagoon with a thundering shot off the goalie's foot. But knock, knock, who's there? It's Tyler Hill, and he's got your edition of Put Back Goals Weekly. Nice job, Tyler. Rams up now 5-1. The Mustangs are making a dying effort, trying everything they can with a weak shot from the wing. Miss, but someone's got the puck, and they're breaking away faster than our cameraman can catch them. Who is it? It's T. Hill again. Booyah! Sit down. School's in, sucker. Goalie must be jammed because jelly don't shake like that. Tyler Hill with his second of the night, and New Canaan goes a sea biscuit and leaves Ward in the dust 6-2. The boys then halted Notre Dame West Haven 2 1 on Wednesday. The puck train is now officially rolling in the SCAC season. The team is overall 2 and 3. Seems like the ladies on stage should be melting ice and hearts everywhere they step because girls' puck is absolutely on fire. They were busy over the holidays, first melting a Hall Connor team 4 0 on Christmas Eve, out shooting them 41 to 15 with Frost Gianna Bruno taking a hat trick. The Rams then went bird hunting, shooting down the Greenwich Cardinals 6-2 on New Year's Eve, demolishing the goalie with 41 shots, and Catherine Granito adds a hat trick to her resume. On Saturday, they plucked and roasted the Trumbull Eagles 9-2. Then on Wednesday, the girls topped a Fairfield co-op team 6-3, sending a barrage of, get this, 53 shots at the goalie's uh, back of the net. Call this team butter, because they're on a roll. They cross sticks against East Catholic tonight and face off against Glastonbury and Shelton tomorrow night. One team that's been left out in the cold is the wrestling team. Mr. Gallo's young squad of boys and girl have had a pretty rough start to their season, losing senior captain Malachi Holen to a broken hand and winning only two matches of their meet against Norwalk on Wednesday. I ask, can the wrestling team salvage this slow start or is it all just downhill from here? Don't tap out yet, boys. We're all still rooting for you. Before I go home and start sobbing hysterically over midterms, it's time to brighten up one athlete's week. Tyler Hill, the kid who's too chill, cooler than the other side of the pillow. You get the bragging rights for those three goals in your last two wins. Good job, Tyler. That does it for me this week. I'm Gunnar Magnus, and you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck out of here. Back to you guys. Thanks, Gunnar. Stuart Scott would be proud. <laughs> now, as many of you have noticed, the weather has been super chilly recently. Is this weekend's temperature still going to be like an ice rink outside, Jake? Well, Kyle, I absolutely love ice rinks, but the weather, that is way above my pay grade. Fortunately, Tanasia Carfiello can give us the scoop. Tanasia? Good morning, NCHS. I'm Tanasia Carfiello, here to hit you up with this weekend's weather. It's finally starting to feel like winter. The low temperatures are staying consistent, and the snow just can't stay away. This weekend, you might as well stay inside and study for those midterms. Today, the snow is coming down and covering up the streets, so drivers stay safe and everyone else stay warm. There will be a high of 29 degrees and a low of 12. Tomorrow the sun will be out, but you still need to stay bundled up with a high of 20 degrees and a low of 12. Sunday the clouds will be hiding the sun, but it will be the warmest day of the weekend. There will be a high of 30 degrees and a low of 24. Well, that's it for me. Everyone have a great weekend. Back to you guys. Thanks, Tanasia. Before you go back to class to try to figure out if your test will be multiple choice or open answer, we want to wish a very happy birthday to Sean Davidson and Alexander Popoff. My one piece of advice for next week is that the answer is always C. I'm Jake Morris. Is that how you got into college, Jake? Always that putting, is, uh, Kyle. C. <laughs> and I'm Kyle Lavaster. If you have any study breaks, make sure to watch Channel 78 and look out for the boys' b-ball game versus Litchfield. It was a barn burner. Also, due to the midterms, we will not have a broadcast next week. Since we just started the new year, we set out to hear what NCHS's resolutions are. From all of us at NCTV, we wish you good luck on your midterms and happy studying.
fast riding center. I want to eat less carbs to help my diet. To exercise more. I want to have more uh, student protests. I want to go off campus more often. To get better. To be the best administrator I can be. I want to lose more weight and stop eating so unhealthy. I will no longer wet the bed and blame my little brother. To get a hot boyfriend like Robbie. To never give up on anything that I'm doing. Buy more boys cross country shirts. To get a lot of exercise. To not do any more NCTV interviews. To not be bothered by you. To stop doing these interviews. My New Year's resolution is to stop doing these interviews.